Hello guys! A few days ago Taylor Otwell tweeted about new functionality in Laravel Starter Kit. Basically you can generate the project with Starter Kit but without authentication. So in this video I will show you exactly how it works and also we'll talk about a few more questions related to current status of Laravel Starter Kits like API, two-factor authentication and Blade Starter Kits. But first the new functionality of Laravel Installer which you can use already if you update Laravel Installer which you can do conveniently in Laravel herd. Just click update. I already did that. So if I go to settings on my Laravel herd, I see Laravel installer running latest version. And now if I run Laravel new project, I choose for example Livewire starter kit and this is the new option. No authentication scaffolding. Let's see what's inside. Let's generate the project and it is done. Now what's inside? If we run that project in the browser, there is no login or register here. There is no authentication scaffolding as it is said in the terminal. And if we open the project's code, RoutesWeb doesn't have anything related to auth. Also, there is no controller or Livewire components in App HTTP controllers or App Livewire. In resources folder, there's only resources views welcome. And probably the only way to know that you have Livewire starter kit is in Composer JSON you have Livewire Vault which installs Livewire under the hood. So right away you can run the command make Livewire because Livewire is already installed. And it would be roughly similar with React or Vue starter kit. So React and Vue are pre-installed and configured and then you don't need to install them manually. This is as I understand the benefit of using so-called new blank starter kits. And those blank starter kits are actually repositories on GitHub in Laravel organizations. So there are three repositories blank whatever starter kit which are referenced in the new Laravel installer commit by Taylor. So as you can see for the option of no authentication it loads one of those three starter kits. So yeah this is the new feature and now let's discuss a few questions related to starter kits. What comes next and what is the future of starter kits? And one of the typical question I see on Twitter here what about vanilla blade? So there's react live wire and view. What about just blade? And Taylor has been answering the same thing for a while now that Livewire is Blade. Which at first I was skeptical about but then the more I use Livewire starter kit I do agree. Because you may start with Livewire starter kit and then continue with Blade like Livewire wouldn't even exist in the starter kit or in the framework. Now the next question is API starter kit which is also quite often asked on Twitter. What about API only starter kit? And the problem with that question that it is pretty vague and not detailized. What should be inside of that API starter kit? So one of the interpretation is just blank app without starter kit and then you just install API and go from there. With PHP Artisan install API terminal command. Similarly another question when is Laravel 12 API starter kit coming up? And in this case Taylor replied define that more specifically. So this is exactly what I meant. What should be inside of that API? Interestingly in the very beginning when starter kits were released back in February Taylor tweeted himself that API starter kit is in the works. But probably what I think happened is that internally they discussed what should be inside and they didn't come to any conclusion about how that API starter kit should look like. And if you google Laravel API starter kit interesting thing on Reddit there is a post four months ago or five months ago at this point people discussing what should be inside of API starter kit and this goes to the other way of extreme with a lot of functionality around APIs in general not necessarily Laravel. So specification, rate limiting docs with open API, CI CD and stuff and people suggest a lot of features which would be in API starter kit but I would not consider that project starter kit. It would be like full almost a separate framework on top of Laravel. Maybe someone should create that. I don't know. We can discuss in the comments below. But for now it seems like Laravel API starter kit from the official team and Taylor isn't going to be released anytime soon. But maybe it will change. Who knows? And then with a few more features also promised. So multi-factor authentication to factor authentication and also teams. Since the release of starter kits in February it seems like 
there is no movement in those directions, at least nothing in public. So for those features, I would advise to use Laravel Jetstream, which does have both features and still works in Laravel 12. In fact, on Laravel Daily, we have a special guide released a few months ago, which starter kits to use. All of them work in Laravel 12, including Jetstream and Breeze, and I will link that article in the description below. And also keep in mind that since June, Tony is not on Laravel team anymore. Tony who created most of starter kits in the first place for version 12, which probably means that Taylor is in charge of those again. That's why he released his new change. And we'll see what happens next, whether Taylor will put his own energy into more features or will hire someone or maybe even rethink starter kits for Laravel 13 next year. What do you think? What are your predictions? Which starter kit do you use for your projects at the moment? And will you use the new feature of no authentication scaffolding? Let's discuss all of that in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.